Okay, now we're going to factor trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is not equal to 1. So this is essentially the same as factoring an equation that looks like this, except you're introduced with a coefficient in front, which adds a little bit to the guessing and checking process of factoring trinomials. So just like when you would factor this equation, or this um, this polynomial, you also want to factor um, trinomials in this form with the same method, where you have two parentheses. But instead of just simply putting an x in front of both of these, you have to consider which coefficient to put in front. Um, for example, when you have um, 3x squared plus 5x plus 6, you um, you know that you can either put a 3x in front here or an x in front here. Um, and that's basically all the variations you can have. But say you have an equation that starts with 4x squared plus 5x plus 6. Then you know that in front you can either have um, a 4x and an x or you can have a 2x and a 2x with these being um, other numbers. So you would have to try and um, guess and check both of these to see which one would um, fold together to have the original polynomial. So let's try an example problem together. Say you're given the the form or the the equation 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. So we would um, start off with two parentheses, and we know that the only possible combinations you can have for 3x squared is a 3x and an x. So um, actually this is pretty easy for us because we know that the last number is 2 and the only um, combinations for 2 are 1 and 2. So now the um, the process is um, trying to figure out where to put the 2 and where to put the 1. So let's try putting the 2 here and the 1 here. So when you um, follow this out, you're given 3x squared plus 6x plus 1x plus 2. And when you simplify that, that becomes to be 3x squared plus 7x plus 2. But this does not equal the original equation. So we know that we have to change the um, change the order of the numbers a little bit. So let's try here. Let me rewrite it. The original equation was 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. And we know we have a 3x here and an x here. And last time we tried um, to put the 1 in front here. But this time, let's try putting the 2 in front and the 1 here. And when you fold it out, it becomes 3x squared plus 3x plus 2x plus 2. And when you simplify that out, you have 3x squared plus 5x plus 2. And this equals the original equation. So as you can see, when you add, um, add a co coefficient in front of the first term, where it's ax squared plus bx plus c, this adds to the guessing and checking that you have to do to um, to make sure that the end um, factored polynomials multiply together to have to um, to be equal to the original polynomial. So it's essentially the same as simpler polynomials where there is no coefficient, but it's just a matter of guessing and checking again.